Okay, this video I will show you how to integrate this DS18B20 temperature sensor and integrate with the KC868 server so that you can detect the uh, temperature. You can put this sensor under the, under the water or in the air or on the soil. So this is widely used in, in home automation and the industry. This is DS18B20. So you can see here is the temperature range. Uh, that is enough for you to use. And this is a calculate. And now we will use this sensor. You can see here is a three line. Uh, that you can see this is a new uh, new sensor that will have three lines. This black is ground and this red is the power. The power is 3.3 uh, volt and this is a signal output. And we can connect this line onto this terminal. Uh, you can see uh, this is a terminal. You can see this is 3 volt, that is 4 power, and this is ground, is black. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, that is 4 channel. This is GPIO, the 4 channel GPIO. So you can connect with many sensors, just uh, with a different channel. So here is, we have complete connect with it. And also we can see here is the diagram. Uh, you can see uh, this is a server board. Uh, Stematic and open the stematic, you will see the ESP32 which GPIO have used by the temperature sensor. So you can find uh, that which is connected, and this is the diagram of the server board. So this you can download from our form uh, that is the K868 server stematic for ESP32 and the Raspberry Pi CM4 circuit. And now you can also see this. Uh, PDF file and you will see this is KC868 server and uh, many 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 interface so that now we just use this uh, GPIO 1, 2, 3, 4 so that we can use this uh, this four point any one of the point uh, can be used I have used this one uh, this is IO1 so we can back to the website and we can just use the ESP home uh, that is configuration. That is GPIO4. Uh, this is the first channel is GPIO4. And also you can see the ESP32 pin define. Uh, you can see GPIO1, 2, 3, 4, is GPIO4, 5, 18, and 19. So that every channel uh, how to define, you can see uh, this for server board. And now we can just go to the ESP home. And you can go to this ESP home. And this is so we can edit. And this we have created last time. Now we just copy and paste. Copy and paste this code. It's very easy. So why have this code? You can also see this ESP home. That is for DS18B20. Uh, how to set it. Uh, very details and many options. And now I can paste um, it here. And this address, every sensor will have a different address. Uh, so this is my address. You need to replace by yourself. And we can click Save. And if you don't know what is the sensor address, later I will, I will show you in logo file. And press Save, and you can install. And before install, you can use this Type-C USB cable. And the one is connected with this part, that is for the ESP32. And this USB is connected with this Raspberry Pi USB part. So that can download the state uh, to this ESP32. And now I can click this by USB to the server. And you can see this detects the server part. And click and just wait for a moment that will comply and download the firmware to ESP32. Okay, you can see the temperature is showing. Uh, that is 27 centigrade. And you can see this is from the sensor. If you don't understand your sensor ID, you can see here is the address. Uh, you will find the server sensor and this just copy this code and to your replace with my configuration. And we can click stop. And now we can go to the configuration and go to the device. And you will see the server. We can click, and you will find two entities. 
that is have a new entities is for the temperature. So we can add the temperature to the dashboard. And we can click and edit dashboard and add a card. And then we can click entity. And we can choose uh, that is temperature because we have chosen the name, the name as the temperature. So that is this one entity. And this have showed uh, with what is the temperature in my house. And save and now you can press down. And you can see here is the temperature we have integrated. And you can see when my hand is hold down and the temperature is changed because I have set every five seconds have update. You can see here that is the update interview that is five seconds. So you can change by yourself. And we can see this is from the PC. And also, I can open my mobile phone. And you can see here is my mobile phone. Uh, I can turn on. This is the follow lay on and off. Uh, you can see uh, on and off. And we can see at the bottom. Here is the temperature. That temperature as seen as the PC, you can show the value. If I have hold on, uh, every, every five seconds, I will change the temperature value and you can see the temperature value is changed and also I can click uh, you can see the temperature uh, the history of the temperature and also you can click on your PC and the PC also will show the temperature the history that will saved on the home assistant database okay you can see here is the DS18B20, that is for the temperature sensor. And if you want to use the temperature and the humidity, you can choose this DHT11 or DHT22, that is a different range. So that you can see, uh, here can display the temperature and the humidity at the same time. So this code also is very easy, just copy and paste and change the pin. That the temperature and the humidity just use one pin. One pin just uh, GPIO4 I have set. So, this is how to integrate the sensor to the ESP32 on the server. Okay, thanks for watching.